Illinois State Redbirds play host to number one South Dakota State. Hi everybody, welcome to Illinois State Football. Hiskey, the junior from Naperville playing in his home state to take the first snap of the game. He's going to go over the middle. He's got his man, and that's Heinz the uh, tight end who makes the... So move that ball up to the 26-yard line. Here's Davis' first carry, and he's got some yards, and he dives ahead across the 35, and he'll be close to another Jack Rose. Well, They figured they'd take a shot on second and one. Now they got third and one, and Gronowski's just going to keep it and dive forward. Tenth, they have converted. They already have a third down make here on this drive. And there's Davis, and he's got yardage before he's finally dragged down. Cannon comes over to make the territory for the first time. The Jackrabbits on first down. Again, the pass goes out, and it's caught right in front of the sidelines. Hines again makes that play. Point State territory at the 30 on first down. Gronowski rolling, has time, has a man wide open, and touchdown! Jaden Yonke. He came all the way across the formation, Kind of looked like he was going to run an over route, but then he took it down. Jack Rabbits on the Yankee touchdown have a 6 0 lead early on here in Normal. On their first possession. Davis still on his feet before he's finally brought down. Keandre Jackson comes. That's second down again. Ooh. Davis has that first down yardage and plowing ahead to about the ground to open this game for the Jacks. Now play action. Gronowski down the middle and he's got another Yankee catch. And he's going to be going for a touchdown unless he's going to be caught at the end. Another Kurt, that's J that's Jackson Yankee. Jaden already scored. I mean, we got to check a stat there. See guys running around running open all over the field. And Yankee doing what he's done his whole career. Throws up the deuce. But not before South Dakota State first down. So first and ten and now Gronowski on play action. Throwing for the end zone. Back of the end zone. It's going to be incomplete. Again, he's looking at two of two on their third down attempts here tonight. Best third down team in the country. Gronowski's going to keep it. He's got the first down. He's got a touchdown. He can move. It opened up. He saw a hole, and he took it. Here's that touchdown run. Gronowski, a 13-yard quarterback draw, capping off a five-play, 25-yard. Penalties, and we're back to second and ten now. Paul Mueller, his first look. Nice run for the Redbird. Out to the fourth. Redbird tempo, no huddle, so they're going to try to get South Dakota State before they can make a substitution. The pass goes out to the side. Second and eight. Pocket collapses, and down goes Zach Anikstead. Second and seven. Anikstead chased, flips it out. Mueller catches it. He's immediately brought down. Big hit that time. Bringing the blitz. Anikstead finds Casper again, and that'll be another Illinois State Redbird Toyota first down. The scrimmage now, the Redbirds trying to again get back at it. Anikstead, pump fake. Now he's got a man. He's got Grandy, who's up ended, but final half minute of this opening quarter. The Redbirds on the move. Anikstead keeps it this time. He flips out. It's Casper again, right on the sidelines before he's in. and trying to answer. Now a little reverse, and they're going to throw it back to oh, Anikstead wow. for a wow. touchdown. Reverse pass inter to get in the end zone. Zach Annick said with the touchdown catch. Yeah, pass to the first in his career. Nope, it's a reverse pass. Nice toss. Nice catch. Nice play for the Redbirds. Back now for the Jacks. Who have first and ten from their 35. And they're going to give him the carry. And he's got yardage. And now it's a foot race. Before finally he's shoved out of bounds. It's second and nine. Gronowski's pass is caught. It's Yankee who's dragged down, but not before he dives ahead. He'll be close. But State 13. Gronowski to keep it. He bangs ahead and dives ahead, and he's got that first down yardage. State 3. Now Gronowski goes out. Wildcat formation. He gets direct snap to Davis, and he's going to spin his way into the end zone. Offensive line is just big, and they move people. That was a big hole. You literally could have drove yeah, direct snap to Isaiah Davis and the big offensive line just finishes the job playing on the opposite side of the line. In the 35. And that's going to flip it out. This is Casper. It's going to be a short game. Dallas. Anikstead's pass is low but caught. Coming back to make the play is Daniel Sopkowitz. Redbirds have... Looks like they're bringing pressure. Play coverage. 
Anikstead throws in the neighborhood of Sobkowitz, who wow. goes up and gets it. That's a heck of a play by Sobkowitz. So it's second and ten now for the Redbirds. Anikstead's going to try to keep it. He's got some green ahead of him. And Anikstead with a cut, still on his feet before he's finally in. With his arm and with his legs on this drive. He's throwing for Sobkowitz. Touchdown, Illinois State. Wow, what a play by Sobkowitz. Couldn't guard him. Just a back shoulder throw right there. Perfect place by turned around. This is a great reaction by Sopkowitz to go up, make sure that you're high pointing that ball. It's something you always coach your receivers to do. Lead. First half. And South Dakota State's in Illinois State territory again. Gronowski now going to add lib this one, and he's going to keep and run. He's got a first down before he... There's one of those Yankees that makes the play over the middle. That's Jackson Yankee. Kravitz at the Illinois State 22. Gronowski looking. He's going to float it. He's got another Yankee. This time it's Jaden Yankee. Throw there by Gronowski. This guy is just, see, he sees the whole field. He does a great, has great, no pressure. Offensive line does its job, and he puts the ball right on Jaden Yankee. This is basically route, routes on air for Yankee right there, too. Completed pass, and that's going to be a first down for Illinois State. It's Sopkowitz who makes the play, so that's... And, and extend to Casper this time, who makes the play. Redbirds pick up of two, second and eight now. This is Mueller on the give, and he gets out to about the 39-yard line. He'll be a yard short. South Dakota State has not been scored upon in the third quarter either, so the defense has been really good for the Jackrabbits to begin the second half. Anikstead's flushed out of the pocket. He's going to fake a pass tonight on third down. Anikstead's pass is to Sopkowitz, complete for that first down yardage. He comes back to get it. He's wrestled out of Brown. South Dakota State 41-yard line after the completion and the penalty, and now Anikstead keeps, and then he slides and kind of has his spikes up as he before in the play, so it's second and six. Now the give is to Blakemore. He gets to the He's outside, and Mason Blakemore, touchdown Redbirds. Yes. He got around that corner quick. Mason Blakemore showing some juice. 75-yard drive. Yeah, it's just a simple zone play. Outside zone, he outstretches the defense there. 4-21 game now. South Dakota State the lead. Let's watch them. Gronowski looking in that direction, and he does complete a pass to one of the Yankee twins. That's Jackson, who spins and has completed a pass of the night. Second and ten. And Davis on the draw play. He spins ahead. He'll be very close to another first down. Focused on eliminating the stigma of increasing mental health struggles, but also increasing mental health awareness and mental health resources for universities and... ...into a one-score game. Up the middle, that's Mueller. He's going to be close before he's pushed back. He might just be a hair shy of it, depending on the mark here. And extend to Casper, kind of in a safety position there as he looked downfield, didn't see it on the night. Over the middle. Yes, yeah, guess, guess who again? <laughs> yeah, Casper. And extend's going to keep it. And get that for somebody lost the ball. It's free, and it looks like the South Dakota State Jackrabbit being turned away for the first time on their last drive. This is Isaiah Davis. He's going to bounce to the outside and pick up about five or six. Our game. Out of the air. Gronowski throws it out for Hines, who comes down with it. A high throw, and he pulled it back in. Hines now with three catches on the night for 28 yards. Here's Davis again banging ahead to the 40-yard line, so he's going to have a first down. Draw possible. I think they were thinking that. And it sure did look like it. Gronowski made something out of nothing, though. Whoa. He sidestepped Josh Dick. Gronowski flips it out. Davis trying to create. He's not going to get there. This is going to be a 40-yard kick. Missed it. It's no good. Getting the bulk of the carries the rest of the way, guys. 
All right, thank you, Joey. And this is Davis on his feet, and he's got a big run coming here. It's going to be a long touchdown run. Isaiah Davis right. Wow. Flag on the play, though. Some Chick-fil-A tomorrow, Kurt. Well, for, that. For bringing. <laughs> for big, big switch in momentum here. They're going to try a sneak oh, wow. with the quarterback with Granowski. Not, okay, his second in, effort. Yeah, his initial. So it's a fresh set of downs now. And on first down, it's going to be Davis again. He's going to work that side of the field and stumble ahead. He's going to have another first down. The left side of this all rushing tonight for South Dakota State. This is a direct snap back to Davis out of that Wildcat formation. He oh, works the left side again. again, and now again he's got a lot of room in front of him. And he stumbles. Run, and now again he's the lone setback, and they're going to directly snap it to him, and he gets into the end zone. Long touchdown run called back. Davis does get into the end zone after all. Did you see Gronowski in that one field? You see the direct snap right here. You see big Derek Greenfield putting someone on the ground. And Gronowski flips it to Yankee, and he throws towards Hines, who comes back, and does he make the play? First down now for Illinois State. Quick slant pass out there again. It's Grandy. Ken Grandy injured in that Lindenwood game. But most of the rest of the guys who were banged up in that game are back here tonight. This is Blake Moore in the open field, but he's not going to go for Illinois State. Draw play. Blake Moore still on his feet, spins ahead. He picks up seven to about the 30, third and four for the Redbirds. Anikstead's pass is caught and then dropped, and they're going to say it's incomplete. In and out of the hands of second and three. Johnson. First down across the 35-yard line before he's brought down. On third and nine, Johnson gets the carry, and he spins close to that first down. He's tackled, it looks like, just a hair sh at the 47-yard line of the Jackrabbits, and Anikstead Grandy. goes to Grandy again. They have had a lot of connections on yeah. first down <laughs> yeah. to start from the 24-yard line of South Dakota State. And Anistead throws to Sobkowitz, who shakes off his defender and gets a first down. Once again, Kurt, that's one of those side adjustments. That wasn't... Semifinals, they were the runner-up in 2020 and the national champs a year ago. This is Angel Johnson, who's going to help run out the clock here. He gets a first down. Angel Johnson again. This kid's got some juice. And he's staying on his feet. He's finally tracked down from behind. And they're just going to take a knee here, and that's going to be the final snap of the game. So South Dakota State, in its first trip to normal in five years, comes in a Missouri Valley football co uh, conference loss of the season. 40-20, won your final. About this, but in, in our final 20 or 30 seconds, what do the Redbirds do after this game here? It's a tough one, but you got to... Uh, those final game stats are really telling here tonight. Yeah, you come into the game, and you're only average giving up 58.